Each year, one man in Independence works to bring his community some Christmas cheer with a dazzling display. First News at Nine's Daniel Gomez shows us what it takes to make the light show come to life. We started with uh, just, you know, a static display. Uh, it's about 12 years ago. I saw this video on the internet where the music played and the lights went with the music and I said, ah, boy, I want to try that. So the first thing I got to do is buy the song. I got to buy the license rights uh, to the song. Every one of these lines uh, represents uh, like I have some mini trees out there. I take every song, I break it down into seconds, and then I break the seconds down into one twentieth. Each one of them bulbs has a chip in it. And so I'm able with that software to take any one of those 1,320 bulbs and make it go on, flash, fade. Some will come and watch two or three songs, and then they go, because it's, what, about an hour? A little over an hour of all the songs. I only have about half the songs programmed yeah. on that matrix because it takes so long to to, uh, to sequence a song to the matrix. They all gotta work together. One to work together, it's not the same show. There's no light that goes on out there unless we said it goes on. We have some Spanish people in our, our area and he put on Feliz Navidad. Yeah. So they, they love it, you know, because they understand it. You gotta keep getting better. I mean Whatever you, whatever you did last year, you better do something different this year. It better be better this year. It's, it's you know, and, and when he started it, now it's getting pretty big. I He has a lot with law, and I'd ask him, why are you doing this? There's a lot of stress, because he's, after he shuts down work in law, he's programming. It takes him forever. And he said, well, if it makes people happy and it makes someone's day, then it's all worth it.